The goal is to filter this data set based on this list and extract the records off to the side. If I add a new class, I want the filtered table to update. Now there's lots of amazing ways that we can use the filter function to filter a data set. But filters number one cool trick is when we have to have a list of values and we want to extract all records that meet any one of these conditions. Now anytime we have multiple conditions and we're comparing them against a single column, fundamentally we're doing an OR logical test. That means for every record in the class column, I have to ask, are you equal to business 210 or business 216 or 218? So when we build our logical test to use filter to filter this data set, rather than building a traditional OR logical test, we can think of this as comparing two lists. Now what we really need in this column is a column of trues and falses. We want a true for every record that matches any one of these. So the way we compare two lists and deliver a column of trues and falses is we use the xmatch function. This xmatch has a lookup value, and guess what? We need a true and false for every one of these values, so we highlight the entire column. That means xlookup is going to look up every single one of these items, comma, and look up array, it's going to try and find a match in this list. Now when I select this column for lookup array, that's all we have to do. And what xmatch does is it looks through each one of these items and tells you the relative position. So 210, right there in the array delivered by xmatch, it will deliver position 1. Down here for 218, it'll deliver position three. So watch this, this will spill, not quite what we want, enter. It delivers numbers and NAs. And what we're interested in are the numbers. Notice that the numbers are in the exact correct location to extract the records, F2. So as a logical test, we now need to convert numbers and NAs to trues and falses, so we use is number. That'll simply put true when it sees the numbers, false when it sees anything else. And there's our array of trues and falses that the filter function can interpret. Right after the equal sign, filter, the array, I want to highlight three columns, student, class, and gray. That's the array to filter, comma, include requires trues and falses that are exactly the same number of rows as this table. So that is our formula, close parentheses, control enter. If I come to the bottom and tab and add math 148, bam, instantly updates. Now this is an Excel table, so the formula is looking at the column object. So if I actually pull the table up to remove these, just like that, it is filtered. Tab. Now I want accounting 203, and bam, everything is working. And filter, yes indeed, can compare two lists and extract records. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.